back to my channel, Ibugu. My name is Ndombi Malaza and yeah, I'm so excited to have you guys back here again. To all the old bookers, I'm glad you guys are back for more. And if you're new here, um, thank you for coming through. I hope you enjoy the content. Um, I hope you've subscribed. I hope you have hit that notifications bell so you will be first in line for when I drop my next video. And of course, follow me on social media. I am at Sindomi Malaza on Instagram. And yeah, that is my main channel. Um, so I look forward to connecting with you guys a bit more. But on today's agenda, guys, we'll be doing a book review on The Yearning by Mohale Masheho. Yo, yeah, let's get into it. Today we are reviewing The Yearning and it's one of those books, here's the book. It's one of those books that um, I kept seeing on social media. I just kept seeing people reading this book and I thought to myself, I should really check this one out. And so I did. Um, yeah, I'm, so I'm just going to cut to the chase. I'm not going to really dive into the synopsis. I think you'll get um, a feel of what the book is about as I share my comments on it. And also the point is for you to check it out as well, right? So I can't just give you everything. Um, it's a story basically rooted in African spirituality through Marubini's journey. Marubini is uh, our main character in The Yearning. And it's basically a bit of a snap shot into her life at present. And it also takes you back into how she grew up. So they, you know, at any point, um, there will be flashbacks into her story and her life and that of her parents, um, her grandmother, her brother, just to kind of tie it all in. Um, there's definitely a constant feeling of, loss and a constant feeling of yearning and a loss a constant feeling of wanting more wanting to know more wanting to discover more um and this is like i said it is all kind of shot through marubini's lens and yeah and her journey and her journey with um her spiritual calling and wanting to basically discover more of why that is happening to her and where it comes from and what it and what may have influenced it in her life it starts on a subtle note um and it takes you through marubini's life in joburg in cape town where she's currently based um and working and as well as petersburg where her grandmother lived and where she visited uh, a long time like for for a long time so the story is basically between Joburg, Cape Town and Petersburg what I really loved about the significance of these three places is that they really showed you a piece of um, Marubini's life so every part of the story that was told in each place really didn't fall through the cracks of who she was or who she is um, and obviously her journey into discovering more about who she is, discovering more about her spiritual calling or kind of finding answers in um, her journey. Each location basically filled some sort of spot in her healing space. I could really um, resonate with that. Certain places just make you feel better. I think it goes without saying that some people, for instance, find a lot of healing just being in nature um being at the beach being um in the wild like in the forests um just being out in nature away from the city you really have that sense of calm that sense of self that sense of reflection and i could really identify with locating yourself within a space within a place um if that makes sense so I really liked how they tied in her healing journey to the different places that she had occupied, whether it be in Joburg, um, whether it be her life in Cape Town and her upbringing where she used to visit her grandmother in Petersburg. So I am I'm not incredibly well versed in um, African spirituality and um, ancestral callings. Um, but what I can say is that 
no journey is the same. I obviously know some stuff, um, but I don't feel confident enough divulging that kind of knowledge. Um, I know it is a very, very beautiful journey to take on. And I would hate to do it any injustice by trying to explain this world of knowledge, right? Um, but it's obviously definitely um, touched on in this book because Marubini has an has some sort of ancestral calling um, that she deals with. And that is basically her path of healing, her path of enlightenment that she is taking through this book. I really did enjoy reading about that because I've heard so many people um, have ancestral callings that have, you know, obviously gone on to heed the calling and find their healing process and expand on that journey. But like I said, it's not something that I've had myself. It's not something that we've had in our family, in my family. Um, so it's quite removed. It's quite far off from me right now um but i've always found it interesting i've always asked questions where i could i've always listened so that i could learn more um so yes narubini is um heeding this call essentially if you're curious about this journey um check the book out i think marubini's story will definitely um encapsulate how um, how can I put it? How unique it really is. How real it really can be for the person experiencing this. Um, it really feels otherworldly, uh, but in a beautiful way, in a way of discovering more of what you can do and what you can be beyond just the physical, if that makes sense. So yes, I loved reading about that experience. Having said that, though, if this is something that you're quite familiar with, the subject that is something you're quite familiar with, then it probably won't be something new. It definitely won't be because you know about it already, right? Um, it won't be anything new. Uh, but look, no two journeys are the same, so the book might surprise you. The plot for me is almost mundane, right? Um... And I say that because obviously a lot of what the story is about is about Marubini's journey. But I think to really land that part of the narrative, you almost have to have a mundane, you know, storyline so that any emotional links, any um, spiritual links can be properly developed and the character can be developed simultaneously. So you really understand what this character is about as they move through the narrative. So I think if you had too many twists and turns, you may get lost in the, in the journey or you may lose the journey to any kind of twists and turns of the plot. So there are very few twists, turns, exciting moments, um, but that's not to say the, the book is boring at all. Um, I really enjoyed it, even though there are moments where I felt like, for instance, one of the flashbacks, I think it was the flashback of the dad going to town um, with Marubini or anyways, he was on a train. I felt like that part of the flashback was quite, um, was quite long lived. I thought it, it, it could be a bit shorter, um, but maybe that was my excitement and wanting to like, let's get on with it. So it's definitely not a rushed story at all. Um, the characters develop really, really well, um, I think. So I think giving them that time to breathe as the story goes uh, was a great strategic plan in the writing. Um, and, def and definitely in the cases of Marubini, uh, Mkhono, um, the mother and the brother, or Simpiwe. So, yeah, I really, I really enjoyed how their characters developed and how it also showed the relationships, the strength in the relationships between the, the characters. I particularly loved how Marubini and Simpiwe got closer as they discovered their different um, gifts, their different um, spiritual, ancestral gifts. So, if you're looking for a plot that... Um, doesn't compromise on depth and consistency, but is not 
but that is you know a relaxed plot then i'd say yes go for this book however if you're looking for something more exciting something with drama something with oh my god on every page then i don't think this book is for you i think you might be a bit disappointed i for one um i don't know when i read this book i felt like i could really see this book as like a short film or um a mini series of sorts and yeah this could be partially influenced by having watched um what is it eight the the netflix movie the netflix original movie um i really loved that i think yeah i think it was well shot storyline well told it was beautifully done um but yeah that's not you know this is not about eight <laughs> but i could definitely see this book um in a short film of sorts so all in all i think this book for me out of five stars i would give it a three i wasn't really blown away by it but it's a good read it's a good read it's a good relaxed read if you're one to read a lot of dramatic intense literature and you just want to cool off a bit with an easy read an easy book i would say definitely check out the yearning so yes three out of five for me um yeah the book is captivating it really it really is it's captivating enough so guys that is my short and sweet review of the yearning by mohale masheho i think this is one of the books that i got on take a lot exclusive i cannot remember but it was an online buy um yeah and i'm jumping onto my well i actually have already jumped onto my next read so stay tuned to my channel for my next book thank my next book for my next video guys um but thank you for tuning in and i hope you love this review and i hope you love this book and i hope you will give it a try if you haven't and if you have please tell everybody about it come on now let's show some love to mahale masheho um thanks again subscribe if you haven't already come on now <laughs> subscribe to my channel hit the notifications bell and follow me on instagram at ndombi malaza thank you guys cheers Thank you.